So this is a kind of long video about a really interesting kind of programming I found. Uh, there are these one-line, I guess, generators for uh, bit sequences, and they can be piped into an audio device or into a speaker to make 8-bit uh, amplitude volumes. So you can stream these out, and it can actually generate sound. So, um, on the computer, it sounds something like this. But because it's so slow, it's a 8-bit, um, tiny bit of data compared to, uh, what computers normally process for sound, that even a tiny little microprocessor like this can do it. So, uh, or microcontroller. So I've, uh, I've put as many of the formulas as I can into this uh, tiny bit of memory. So right now I have about 22, 21 or 22 lines of code. And every single line generates seconds, if not minutes, of unique audio. It's really interesting. So let's see what we got. Oh, forgot to uh, turn on the power. <laughs> And, of course, we want video. Ah, uh, six doesn't work too well. I don't know how I got on six. It's updating so fast that it can't even tell which way I'm turning the dial. This is a good one. That's amazing, it sounds like drums. the graphics.
the, uh, the audio takes precedence over updating the display. So this can totally miss the update. That one's broken. I mean, it still makes sound, it's just not the one that it's supposed to be. The shorter algorithms only have just you know, a dozen or so mathematical computations, and it only has to do that, um, I think, uh, 8,000 times a second, which isn't, isn't too hard for uh, a processor like this. But some of them... I think it can't even get to the... Oh, wait, there it is. It is calculating the output, but it's so incredibly slow. Let me look at the line for number 20. It's a lot of operations, and it does that 8,000 times a second. So it, it would sound like music, but it's just too slow. And it, of course, can't even update, update the display. 21 works. And that's algorithmic, algorithmic music. Pretty cool. Takes no space at all. <laughs> 